emerging around 6,000 years ago, which they used to think. These guys are saying it's probably way earlier than that. Oh, it's, it's just a cycle. Twenty thousand years, yeah, and that's how that explains the pyramids. That explains these incredibly complex geometric structures they built in Africa. Who knows how many thousand years ago? How the fuck did they do it? No one knows. No one has any good ideas. All the ideas suck. All of them are like ridiculous, and the the, the structures are insane. Like who did that? When did they do it? So you know they think somewhere around 2,500 years BC. But these guys are saying that you can't carbon date stone. This is all guesswork. And it's really possible that it could be way earlier but than where, that. I mean, do you know what I mean? Like the Great Pyramid? Yes. They know who built the Great Pyramid, don't no, they? No, they don't. No, they definitely don't. No, they, there's archaeologists have attributed it to certain pharaohs, but there's a lot of problems with that. First of all, the Great Pyramids, they said, they, they think they're tombs, right? right? But there's no evidence that they're tombs. There's, they've never found like pharaohs in them or anything. Yeah, that, aren't they they're in, burial chambers? No, no, no. Those are different areas. That's okay. not the pyramids. Okay. Not the pyramids themselves. The pyramids are so massive. There's 2,300,000 stones yeah, the, in the Great the Pyramid. The Great Pyramid was the tallest building on earth until like 1860, I think. It was something crazy like that, yeah. There's stones that were cut from a quarry that was 500 miles away. Like, they have no idea how they did that. No idea how they moved them. No idea how they got them through the mountains. They cut obelisks that were like thousands of tons. They moved them through the mountains and got them hundreds of miles away. They have no idea how they did that. They were probably very sophisticated, but in a different way than us. They probably had technology that we haven't figured out yet because we went to combustion engines and electricity, and that's how we figured out how to use yep. the human creativity and constantly innovating when we created technology that went in this way. But it's really possible that another culture 20,000 years ago or whatever had figured out a way to innovate the way we have with combustion engines and electronics, but in a completely different way. I don't know what they would use. I don't know how they did it. But if you imagine human beings going from the Roman Empire 2,000 years ago to what we enjoy today, that's a tiny blip in time when you're talking about 20,000, 30,000 years. If these people figured out some form of technology, some form of technology that we still haven't figured out yet, it's totally possible that that could be the case. And if that's the case, they got hit. They got boom, boom, comets slammed into the earth. A giant percentage of the population died. The people that survived clawed and scraped for generations, and they lived like barbarians, yeah. and they forgot everything. And then they rebuilt or moved into the pyramids well, or like well, to claimed your it point, as their own. Uh, the Sphinx, which is obviously one of the most amazing structures of the ancient world, the Egyptians don't talk about it. Like it, they, it's just there and it, they don't know when it was built or why. And it's just odd that you imagine talking about New York and never mentioning the Statue of Liberty in your literature. Like it doesn't yeah. make sense. So that well, I know they don't have any kind of good explanation for. Well, I know. I'm glad you and brought that up. it was buried for a long time. This, the Sphinx was not buried for a long time. It was buried up to its, its neck. neck. Yeah. The, the Sphinx also has an African face, and it's smaller than the shape of the rest of the body. It's like not in proportion, and it's much newer. Like it doesn't have the erosion. So they think that during the time when the pharaohs ran Egypt, that they might have redone that in the shape of, I forget which pharaoh they're, they're attributed to, but there's some controversy about that. But here's why, why it's interesting that you brought up the Sphinx, because the temple of the Sphinx is the best evidence that it's older than people think it is. Because the temple of the Sphinx is a guy named Dr. Robert Chalk. What do you mean the temple Boston. of the Sphinx? The temple that's around the Sphinx. Like okay. the, the, the area where the Sphinx is carved out of. So the stones that they cut out of this area to make this like this ground, this this like flat wall that has a bunch of different kinds of stone in it. And some of it is uh, more more dense and harder, and the other stuff is more porous, and it gets eroded quicker. So there's all this evidence of thousands of years of rainfall on these walls. And there's a guy named Dr. Robert Chalk, who's a geologist from Boston University. And he measured it, and, and he went there and, and like looked at it and examined it, for just from the terms of like as a geologist, not a his, as a historian, because it fucks with the timeline. Because the last time there was rain in the Nile Valley was like 9,000 years ago. So it had to be thousands of years older than that because it has erosion from thousands of years of rainfall. Because the Nile Valley used to be, that's what it was when they first found yeah. it, right? When they had to, that was like in the olden days. But look how small the face is and compared to the rest of the body. 
it, they think it might have actually been a lion originally, and one of the uh, pharaohs decided oh, to have his, his face, face cut. Okay. That's why the face is noticeably less eroded than the rest of it. But you see the walls and the outside? Yeah. See, that's the temple. I see what you're And saying. those okay. lines, those fissures... According to R Dr. Robert Schock, he says those lines are the, uh, a clear sign of water erosion. He's like, you don't get that kind of erosion from sand and wind. He goes, the way it, there's, there's like videos that describe it in cartoon form or in uh, illustration form or images. But those type of fissures are only created with erosion from water. For thousands of years of rainfall. The problem with that is they think that that's 2,500 B.C. So what he's saying is, no, it's thousands and thousands of years older than that. And we don't know who did it. We don't know what happened. Like, you're just looking at structures. Right, right. You're just guessing. I mean, there's, they're educated guesses. But when people come along with opposing information or opposing uh, ideas and theories about how it all went down, the... the Archaeologists that have been teaching their version of ancient history, they're very rigid and they don't want to accept like new ideas. They call them racist or they'll call them racist. Yeah, oh, they call Graham Hancock racist for, for talking what? about this. It doesn't make any sense. It's just they just throw that word at it like as if somehow or another redate. It's first of all, even if it's like 20,000 years ago, it's Africans. But Africans made the pyramids 100%. You know how I know? How? They're in Africa. Well, no, but I mean, if, you're, if you're ascribing advanced civilization to Africans, that's pro-African. That's not anti-African. Exactly. How's that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, none of it makes any sense. It's so dumb. It's maybe, maybe because he's a white man. Who, by the way, he's married to a brown woman. Okay. Beautiful woman who's amazing. But his wife, Santa. So, uh, but the point is, it's like, he's just talking about ancient history. It's, none of it has to do with race or anything. He's just talking about human yeah, beings. Of course. And they, they'll come up with all sorts of like pseudoscience labels they put on it and misinformation. And they were telling him this forever. And the more time goes on, the more they find evidence that he's correct. It's happening over and over and over and over and over and over again to the point where they've moved the dates of complex civilization all the way back to 12,000 years ago now because of Gobekli Tepe. When they first found these fissures in the Temple of the Sphinx, they were like, there's no way, there's no evidence of any culture that existed that was sophisticated that long ago. Where's the culture? Where's the evidence? Well, now they have evidence. So it's like, because of Gobekli Tepe, what, what is, is that? It's a giant structure in Turkey that's like 12,000 years old. Okay. They know it was purposely covered. Someone buried it up. Someone like covered it 12,000 years ago. I guess they know that because the soil samples are uniform. Okay. Like, oh, okay. Like yeah, in yeah. Terms of so they it do wasn't a, just yeah. gradual over time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like, this is all the evidence that shows that this was probably covered. 